YouTube, this is Fastbolt11 here coming at you with another video. Now this video will be on the mob spawner. Now this is a very effective mob spawner. And in survival you wouldn't have these here, but you see your normal average mob spawner. But I want to give you some tips and tricks on what to do to make it better. Now, signs make it less likely for spiders to climb up them. Although they still can, but it's less likely for them to. So that gives you a an increased rate for mob deaths, and the, the top is very unrealistic. Also, I put like silver fish and slimes and stuff, zombie pigmen, but they don't spawn for some reason. But another way to do it is to put multiple layers. Like for instance, this is the first layer. And this is the first area where mobs spawn. Now here's the second also. This is going to increase your chance of getting mob drops. Especially rare mob drops. And in survival, of course, you wouldn't have spawners. Like I said before, you would just have um, a regular, regular old panels without mob spawners. But the real cost of this is the signs. They do cost a lot, but they do really, really increase your rate. And also, if you put this two more down than normal and put signs on all of them, that will... Oh, there's two spiders. I just made them... I just made them climb up. But it will make them more likely to fall where you want them to. And you're asking, well... You've been talking about this the entire time, but how effective is it? Well, does this prove anything to you? I hope so, because I hope it proves that it is quite effective, and you should really consider building it. And also, to get the annoying water particle to stop, like if I break this, it should start to give me water particles. Like, you know, when water drips down from here. It's not happening now, but it, it usually does. Oh, there, you see? Right there. To do that, you just increase this, increase this by two. I don't know if it works by increasing it by one, but for my design, it works better for increasing it by two. And also, when you build this, and uh, I usually make it 25 above the landing, 25 blocks above the landing area. So it isn't a short distance. So you might want to put a way to get up there. For me, I just put ladders. But you can do something a bit more fancy if you want to. And then just put like a platform up here and AFK. And then when you're ready for, to get your drops, just go back down here. And there's not much because I was down here most of the time and the spawners weren't activated but then you just come down here and get your drops and get on with your life <laughs> I don't know but that's about it for this video please like comment and subscribe oh wait and one more thing if you want to see a video on how to get these because they are not in the creative inventory these, uh, this type of ender portal, ender portal, end portal, then I'll show you how to get them. But that's about it. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. This has been Fastbolt11 here, signing out. Goodbye.